Without objection. Thank you. At this time, I, represent, uh, I recognize the gentleman from Texas uh, for two minutes. The gentleman is recognized for two minutes. I, I thank the gentleman. I ask unanimous consent to revise and extend my remarks. Without objection. Uh, th thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I am uh, rising in opposition to this bill. It uh, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, but I am concerned that uh, we're narrowed down on a problem of the uh, car industry, which is a significant problem, but we're dealing with $15 billion uh, here. But if you look at the grand problem we have, it's much, much bigger. And uh, it seems like we don't pay much attention to it. The problems that we're facing today and, what we, and the problems that we have been trying to solve in these last six months it was a predictable problem. It had been building for a good many years. We can date it back to 1971, and we've had a financial bubble building, and so there were many who predicted that the climax would be exactly as we're witnessing. But we don't seem to want to go back and find out how do financial bubbles form and why do they burst. Instead, we just carry on doing the same old thing and never look back. We spend more money, we run up more debt, we print more money, and we think that's going to solve the problem that was created by spending too, money, too much money, running up debt, printing too much money, and here we are today. We're talking about tinkering on the edges without dealing with the big problem. The Federal Reserve has literally created $8 trillion here in the last uh, several months, at, at least an obligation, and that's outside the realm of the Congress. We don't even audit the Federal Reserve. They create this money, and when the Fed chairman comes before our committee and we ask, well, where, where did you dispose of this $2 trillion that you've created recently? He says, well, it's not your business. Uh, that's, that's not necessary. And under the law, he doesn't even have to tell us. So this is how out of control this is. Sure, there is a lot of debt in the, in the, uh, in the, in the economy. And once a government or corporations get an excessive amount of debt, it's never paid for. So, yeah, we can transfer around. We're dealing only with finding victims. Uh, we, we cannot get rid of the debt, whether it's our national debt or whether it's corporate debt, but we have to put it on somebody else. We need to look at the cause of these bubbles, and it has to do with monetary policy and the Federal Reserve System.